Hello everyone, today in this video I will be discussing about the ACA module 1 super important question which is uh, appeared in the previous papers many times. So I will be telling you what all you need to keep in mind. So watch this, watch this video till the end to get all the concepts what you need to write. And uh, if this video is helpful for you, make sure the like button subscribe and subscribe for more videos like this. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. So uh, what's the question? Describe Flynn's uh, classification of computer architecture and it is for 10 marks. So uh, there are a few key points which uh, consist of totally 10 marks if you right so you make sure don't miss any of those and uh, what is it's actually asking is we have to explain the Flynn's classification so there will be four types here and uh, we have to mention something about computer architecture okay so the first point what you will be mentioning is it is a multi-processor architecture multi-processor means multiple processes are going on and this kind of architecture is called multi-processor architecture now what are those four things let's have a look it can be of two types in, in uh, each of those will have two subdivisions so there can be a total of four categories instruction stream and data uh, data stream you have to explain what is instruction stream and what is data stream if you watch this video till the end you will get to know all the key points you need to uh, keep in mind so i'll be telling you i have not displayed much content here so i'll be just telling you you need to keep the uh, note down these points okay instruction stream means what you'll be having some instructions which you'll be using to perform something right means the rules uh, for uh, completing or achieving something that is called as instructions instruction stream is uh, that same category in which you'll be having those kind of instructions using which you'll be performing some Task. that is the first category second is the data stream to execute some instruction you need some data to be uh, executed right from that data only you will be performing all the instructions that is called as data stream and each can have two stages the instruction and data stream can have two stages the first one is single stage and second one is obviously multiple stage if you remember these four things you just have to uh, memorize uh, what are uh, these four things and the combinations of these four things so let's get started with the first one single instruction stream single data stream you have single instruction stream and single data stream one rule one data so it is called as scalar process and single instruction means only one instruction is acted upon cpu you just have to write in this form first you have to write what it means then you have to write what is single Single instruction then you have to write what is single data only one data is being used as the input and after that obviously you have to give an example as well so the example is taken here as load and load a b and a plus b is getting stored in c and then a is equal to b plus b into 2 and that is getting stored in a so these kind of instructions are happening just on one data that is called as single instruction and single data moving on we have single instruction stream but multiple data stream here the operation will be happening on multiple data single instruction multiple data here you as you can see here it is a1 a2 a n like that multiple data are there but the instruction is same the same instruction is happening here 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 that's all what i have to explain by an example then we have the multiple instruction and single data stream you'll have multiple instructions but all will perform one single data stream like uh, this one here you have different different uh, multiple instructions but you will have just one single data right the single data is a1 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 but you have multiple instructions being performed that is called as multiple instruction and single data stream very simple just have to write this one and finally we have multiple instruction multiple data stream here you will have different instructions executing on different things and you'll have multiple data as well so the example can be given for different functions like load here and call function and here do function is uh, getting executed so make sure you know these four functions very well write some theory part and make the diagram that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one